So you may be wondering, what's so good about this weapon? Well, everything. Nobody, nobody gets to live. You don't. Neither do you. Or you. Or you. Handy power here. We got six cavalry. In my defense, when he was standing in the tavern, he didn't have a horse. So how was I supposed to know? So in the last episode, I earned a lot of money in a tournament. But okay, you're a lord. I don't want to get... Wait, they're both lords. What do we do? But now I have a bunch of money I need to spend, and I need to upgrade my troops. And currently they are not very upgraded. Okay, hold up. This guy has to die. And we got him. That we're gonna have to go into battles. Now, if you notice here, this is a tournament, not a battle. Oh no, he actually hit his shot. You're not supposed to hit me. Final round of the tournament? Determining whether we get like $200, which is basically nothing compared to our fortune that we already have. We've gotta beat this man. Okay, that did not work as expected, but it, it, it still won. This is $8,000. That is not 200 That's a big difference. I may make very poor financial decisions, but I make them successfully. So now we gotta get a bunch of horses if we actually want to catch up to our enemies to beat them up for XP. Now, so far our advanced leveling up strategy is just to charge at the enemy, like these guys here, who are just standing here waiting to get destroyed, and they're all dead. And from that battle, we got six promotions. So you might be asking, how will I do this without having to level up each troop, like, that many times in these small battles? Uh, well, I'm gonna find large groups of enemies. Which, we're gonna have to go to some foreign lands for that one. But it, it is possible. I've got an idea to level up and get XP for myself and my troops which is to do a 1v7 with these guys. So this is gonna go interesting. I dropped my shield so I could move faster, so you know, it might not have been the best decision if they're gonna throw rocks at me. Ow. Okay, we're dead. And they get rushed by 50 troops. So the strategy worked, we got slightly more promotions, but it also cost me like my entire health, so I, I don't think it was worth it. Okay, we got 20 looters approaching us, and our, our archers are just getting ready to obliterate them, and then we're gonna have our troops here get a bunch of money from this. I don't even know if they're gonna get to our troops, to be honest. I, I think they might get, like, obliterated. Okay, no, they're here. Okay, everybody charge. Okay, this is the wrong weapon. This is a mace. Also, for those of you wondering, we got 86 two-handed and 109 athletics. So we're doing good. That will affect how well we swing two-handed weapons and how athletic we are. So the thing about my weapons is that I have, like, an epic mace and an epic sword and a good shield, but I my two-handed weapon just sucks. It's, it's it's literally a farming tool. Oh wait, we have no food. We're we're going broke. We need to buy food. Wait a minute. What are the Vikings doing in our castle? Huh? When did they take this? Well, we know what we're doing next war. Okay, this is what I'm looking for. There's a tournament. For a very good two-handed weapon, but we've got to win it. There is no acceptable loss here. We must win this tournament. Okay, we got him. Got to make sure we win this by using superior strategies. 
And we got him. We got him. And now we gotta fight the last guy. Again. And we got him. So you may be wondering, what's so good about this weapon? Well, everything. Long story short, it's a lot better than the farming tool that I used to have. And to demonstrate this point, I will now be 1v11ing these looters. We just gotta wait for them to get close enough that they're not gonna do throne racks. Cause throne racks are like the only thing that actually makes looters decent. And we get- oh wait, they're- they're just going for the troops, come on, I'm over here. All of your friends are dead. You haven't even touched the army yet, they're- they're gonna destroy you. I mean, to be fair, these guys were dying either way, so... There wasn't really much they could do. And we got them. So there's 12 looters here, and they're about to get obliterated. So this battle is going to be a little difficult, because it, it has both forest bandits, which have bows, and looters, which those guys have melee weapons. And then we order our troops to rush in, and nobody is alive. Nobody, nobody gets to live. You don't. Neither do you. Or you. Or you. And this last guy is still alive. Come on, man. Or you. So because we have the money to sit here and wait for a while, I'm gonna sit here and wait until the country declares war, or our savings get too low to the point where we can't really afford just to wait here anymore and we gotta go out and make some money. So we've just gone to war with the Western Empire. That's these guys down here. Which if we see, the Western Empire is actually at war with the Northern Empire and us. So we should have the advantage here. Looks like we might get a- okay, no, we're not getting any help. Oh well, that, that's more money for us. Definitely works with very poor level shields. It's called the Square Formation. I bet you'll never guess what it is. And now they're, they're just gonna launch arrows at us. They've- <laughs> They've already lost troops before they've even gotten a single one of our troops. Okay, we're gonna form a really dense shield wall here because there's a ton of archers there, and taking out the archers is going to be very important. Oh no, we're, we're losing troops here. Uh, okay, everyone move forward just a little bit. And then everybody charge now. Take him out. Go, go, go. I I don't know where my axe is. Give me the axe so that I can obliterate these buffoons. And now we make a square formation again. We are taking casualties though, mainly in the archer department, but also in the troops. I I think there looks like a good Location to fight these guys. Oh no, we've been taken out. Okay, so we're gonna end the battle there, because I don't feel like dying today. Uh, and we got this guy showing up who can help finish him off, maybe. We'll just pick up any troops they have available at the moment. Which, that should help us in the auto-resolve. We didn't get as much, like, anywhere near as much upgrades or anything. Now we're gonna go raid some of their villages, because that's something we can do without losing a million troops. Alright, go attack them now! Get them! Oh, and I've been hit by a javelin. But we did take them out with, like, very little casualties. Wait, no, no, no. Okay, they're sending actual people after us. This is not what was supposed to happen. They were not supposed to notice we just completely destroyed one of their cities. 
Now here is an ambush that we can... No, we can't do it because there's just too many of them. Alright, so I, I kind of like the result of that battle. So this time we're just going to do the same thing except we're also going to use our archers. And now we charge. Okay, we've been taken out, but we took out them, so we get 27 promotions. That's more like what we're supposed to get. Here we can get more damage, or slightly less of one very specific type of damage. So of course we're going to get that. Wait, I, I just bought everything from him. I just spent my money on that. Uh, I want promotions to give us the... Wait, we're not... We're not high enough health to fight the battle yet. I... I've paid these guys more than I've taken from them. Grand total of nine defenders? I'm just gonna kinda sit back and let my other troops do this work so that we can stay above 20% health. The thing about raiding is you always have to watch the entrance points to see who's coming in in case the enemy... Oh, was that a... was that someone I just saw? It is! So now we gotta... we, we gotta move away, because we don't have, like, anywhere near enough troops to just raid a village and then stay there and fight any of the dudes who attack us. Looks like they're just gonna ignore us so we can go back to raiding. They got 30 troops in that little bit of time? What? What logic? And now we're fighting here? I did not switch to my axe, that I was supposed to switch to my axe, not a mace. This is the problem with having so many weapons. This man is bad. oh he- <laughs> Their contract just expired. Now we're free to go and raid them again. This is- this is hilarious. Now we're gonna raid this village again. Oh wow, looks like they dropped a nuke on the ground. What happened? This time, because there's like this little ditch here, we're gonna put the troops in there so that they can shield wall and block most of the arrows. And then we'll have the archers on top of here to hit them as they approach. Alright, we're launching some arrows now. Now the, the shield wall is shooting some throwing weapons. The fields are actually doing pretty good considering it's battalion shields, which suck. And now we raid those guys and shield up again. Actually, let's just charge. It's not like they're actually going to do anything. We got some more free stuff. We should probably sell off some of the stuff we have now, because we have way too much that we can carry. They're sieging a... They got a thousand troops. Hold up. The thing about that thousand troop siege is that because they have a thousand troops sieging that town over there, that means there's a thousand troops that aren't guarding their own villages. So here we're actually gonna raid this village instead of just supply joint. There's the ten troops guarding this place. Okay, it's more like fourteen. Still, still not very many. Man, night battles are annoying. And now we raid this village. It's It's got a lot less money than that last one we were raiding. But it's also a lot more favorable of a location to raid. Here's the villagers that we just raided their village. And now we're sitting in here while they're out there. Alright, that's one successful raid. So now this village is considered raided, so they can't really do anything. These guys look pretty rich, right? Because we have so many archers, they're really good against all the shieldless peasants. Oh, I, I should probably be sitting like behind the shield wall instead of in front of it. And that's all of them, right? Oh no, there's, there's more people. Get them. 
And now we charge and take them out. And now we ra- okay, these guys are broke too. I, I just want a village that isn't broke to raid. They've got a lot of defenders, I'm not gonna lie. But we can definitely take them out. So here we've got a lot more high ground than they do. We'll also try to get our shield wall as close to the archers as we can without blocking their path because then the archers have more range to shoot before melee combat. Wait, I've got a better strategy. Hold up. So by standing here, what we're doing is we're allowing the archers to shoot them at an angle, because we're standing here, so if they want to fight the infantry, they've got to go here. But the archers can shoot at them a lot easier now. Plus their shields are going to be facing us in this direction. So, uh... And we've taken them out. They're getting destroyed. And we got them all. A hundred gold? Okay, this is way better than that last village. Alright, that was kind of like a bait and switch. When we started off, we were getting a lot more than 60. And when we stopped, we were only getting 60. So, time for our next raid. Everybody char- actually we shouldn't do that. We, we need to preserve the lives of our troops if we want to keep this rating spree up. I can't see anything here, so I've got to rely on the AI to do this. And now we order everyone to charge. And we use the two-handed axe. This time we've already routed the attackers and it's like two minutes in. Or more like two seconds in. Twelve more promotions. Alright, so this village only has like 20, so I, I'm not too mad that we didn't end up raiding it. Ooh, that guy, that guy looks like an easily takeable part. I feel like we can get a lot of money from this man. So there's a very big hill up here that I feel like could be used significantly to our advantage. Alright, they should be peaking the hill anytime soon now. Wait a minute. Wait, this is an offensive bat. We have to charge them. Unacceptable. Because we don't have any crossbows, offensive battles are going to be a little less great. Oh, he's, he's thinking about it. He keeps thinking about it, but for some reason he never goes... Okay, this guy's going to try to get it, and, and they're, they're running back again. <laughs> Move up our infantry a little bit to back up the archers. I don't want this cavalry charge to do anything. Wait, oh, they're they're actually charging us. Well, this is this is a bizarre turn of events. I wasn't expecting. Their charge isn't really gonna make it though. Okay, it made it to the archers, but the archers just two-handed them to death. We haven't lost a single troop yet. That one guy is dead. So, um, the thing is our wages are like 500 bucks, and we have zero bucks right now. We missed a hundred dollars worth of wages, and we got negative 1.3 morale. What? I don't understand. Are we paying these people like zero dollars a person? Okay, nothing here is good, we'll just sell it all. Ten thousand dollars. We're also going to upgrade our roguery, which that will increase our battle loot, so that should help. We're also going to upgrade roguery, which should increase our battle loot. And then we're going to put another category point into scouting tactics and rogu roguery. So if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more. I will definitely have more videos like this out someday. I, How did I jump off this? Oh, okay, that's how I jump off the way. Okay, well I didn't die. Anyways, see you guys later. You can also check out the playlist, it should have the videos on it, it might not. I don't know. Alright, see you guys later.